Hey there, YouTube. It's Math Boy. Welcome to my TTM Monday autograph recap video. Last week, the week of February 11th, 2024, I received 62 autographs from 18 people, including two Wade Boggs rookie cards and a 1971 Game 4 World Series ticket. Yeah, bye. yeah, Pirates. Um, so yeah, I'm going to show you all the cards in order with which I receive them. I'll let you know how many days it took, how many items I sent, if I sent a donation. I, I do not give out addresses, though. Those can be found for free on SCF or for 15 bucks a year on SCN. So yeah, also, nine points for Team 80s in Caleb's Battle of the Decades Challenge. Oh yeah, first up, let's do some hockey. Or, <laughs> yeah, hockey. Let's do some racing NASCAR here. So, um... This is the technically the second time I ever sent a Butch Mock. The first time I sent him, it came back with the yellow RTS sticker with a new address, and I took care of that. And yep, for four thirteen days, I updated the new address on SCN. We got Butch Mock, who did sign all four cards here in just thirteen days under the new address. So very good. Next up is a Team 80s. This is a 4 of 4, 45 days. Never sent to Mike Kingery before. So I believe that's an update. Yes. Got there on the 88 Fleer update. And some other 80s goodness, but most importantly for uh, my little project here, we got him on the tops big. Next up is a 1 of 1 for Team 80s. He only signs one. 61 days, we got Rick Cerrone. Very nice. All right, next up is not a point for Team 80s, but it is awesome. Four of four, six days. I send him $10. I'll frequently send to him, you know, three times a year with a four cards, $10 donation. Here we go on one of those tops buybacks. We got Elroy Face, the Baron. Mr. 18 and 1, 1960 World Series member. There he is on the 1960 tops card. There's him and Vern Law. I already have this duel signed by both of them. So. Do I just leave it signed just by him? I think I already have one of those, too. I don't know. But I don't mind sending Delroy Face. He's wonderful. Next up. I believe this is the second time I ever sent him. This is not a point for Team 80s. 3 of 3 in 13 days from Jim Golden. There he is on the 61 with the Dodgers. So I got him on the uh, team card as well from 61. Very cool. And on the 63. Technically, this next person is not going to count for Team 80s because I already sent to him during the time frame. This is a 5 of 5 and only 6 days. $5 donation, Sid Bream. Last time I sent a Sid Bream, I inadvertently sent him Jose Leand instead of this card. So I wanted to send this back and get it taken care of. And Well, I might as well send four other cards too. So, yep. There's him and Tony Pena. So that does not count for Team 80s this time. Next up, former Pirate. He kept one of my cards, which isn't surprising because I sent him four nice cards. Three of four in 43 days. We've got former Pirate Warren Morris. I always liked the Fleer Tradition cards. This set was always really pretty. Had a real vintage look to it. An amazing cut card here, a little die cut. And this fun little card here. Is that showcase thing? Uh, showdown, Showdown 2000. All right, next up, Team 80s, 4 of 4. In eight days, we've got Big Daddy Rick Rushell on the starting lineup card. And then three of my oversized cards that I've been doing for the Team 80s project. We've got them on the 89 Bowman. And we got two of the tops big. I believe that's the 88, yep. And that's technically 1990, but that's all right. Good stuff. Next up is cool, but a little bit disappointing in all, all honesty. Three of three, ten days. We got Rick, or not Rick, Russell. Dave Justy, who was a great pitcher. Remember the 1971 World Series Pirates? Never know what he's going to sign with. He does, you know, sign in black ballpoint pen, which looks great on vintage cards. Kind of stinks, though, on the 71 World Series ticket. But it's, he picked a decent spot to put, but not that great. You know, it's like, well, can't really complain for a free autograph. He did get the save in game four. I believe my buddy Papa's card is the one that told me that Clemente had a great game that game. He's a phenomenal memory. Good Pirate fan, good guy. But, yeah, too bad that didn't turn out as good, but it still looks wonderful. So thank you, Mr. Justy. I mean, it's wonderful to have. So Next up, two of two, Team 80s. 
10 days, Mark Rial. I don't know. He had a cup of coffee with the Pirates, so he counts in my book for that as well. All right, a couple of older returns here. Rick Rennick, 3 of 3 in 10 days. I've already got this dual sign, so I'm going to just keep this one the way it is. So we got him on the 68, the 70, and the 72. Let's jump into basketball. 4 of 4, 25 days. We've got Craig Elo. At least I think that's how you say his last name. It's a pretty sweet hairdo. Okay, next up. I thought I had sent to him during the Battles of the Decades Challenge, but it looks like I haven't, so I sent out to him. Four, four, ten days. We've got Danny Darwin, and this is on a Topps buyback. You can see the blue rediscover tops on the side there and it's signed in blue sharpie that's a really neat nice looking card there you got the blue name there going diagonal that's just a really good looking card and three others so yeah team 80s and the next return is the biggest return of the week it was really weird because this next person i had sent to him the same two cards with the donation and my original envelope came back rts you know no such address or whatever I double-checked, and everything was there. My handwriting was decent, so I don't know what the crap happened. So I sent it back out, and two of two, 17 days, with a $40 donation. <laughs> He's 20 bucks per rookie card. We got Wade Boggs on the Fleer rookie card. And the Don Russ rookie card. <sighs> Very nice. Four more returns here. Three of them are Team 80s, including this one. Never sent in before. Four of four, 11 days. Mark Parent? Parent? I don't know. 89 Donruss, and then we got a little upper deck run here. Do believe, you know, he was with the Pirates for a little bit there. Next up is not Team 80s. We've got Vintage Football, and the only person to sign an index card. Five of four, 32 days. Randy Bataha? I'm guessing that name. But, you know, he was he had at least one really good season in 1971, that's for sure. Did sign the generic autograph card, and he did sign the index card, so very cool. Two more to go. Both Team 80s never sent to this person. Four of four, 18 days. Rick Shoe. Skahu? I don't know, but he put the Bible verse on this card. Not the others, and that's okay, so... And a couple of tops big. The 89, and there's the 88. All right, last one is a 3 of 3, 11 days Art Howe. There's your team 80s on the 82 Donruss. And then we got him as a manager on the 91 and 92 tops. So there we go. Let me know in the comments below what was your favorite. Every week I upload three videos, a TTM video on Monday and an autograph and or trading card video on Wednesdays and Saturdays. Um, you know, these would have been my favorites for sure. So, very good. All right, I really would appreciate if you would like, comment, and subscribe to my channel. Take care, everybody.